Hello everyone. Here, let me see if I can pull up my uh, phone if I can't see the comments. Let's see. My profile. There we go. Cool. Hello everyone. So I got a bunch of stuff because I was gone for a week, but you wouldn't know it because I took all my videos with me and I was making them. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna unbox a bunch of new pedals. Some of this was stuff I bought, some of it was gifts. All of it is really cool. And I can't wait to demo for the next two weeks straight. It's gonna be a party. So I'm going to unbox a pedal. I'm pretty sure this is my Dirty Haggard audio pedal. Hopefully try and not uh, reveal all my personal information. But yeah, should be fun. I'm glad to be back. I have the house to myself for a bit, so I'm definitely gonna be making demos. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, does this have a sticker? Oh yeah, it has a sticker too. Gotta love that. Very haggard rules. Oh yeah. So I got the 3904, which is a Dirty Haggard Audio um, fuzz. Like a slightly gated fuzz with only one knob, but I got like the Doom Edition one, which is pretty rad. Super stoked to play with this. Nick makes the greatest stuff. These are real simple. He sells these for 50 bucks. Super stoked about that. So that's one. And uh, we got this box here. This is a book from my bud, Mike Bailey. Michael, Michael Bailey. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna have to get something to get all this tape off. I was so excited I didn't prepare. A knife. Oh, I got my keys. I should do it. All right. Let's see. Yeah. That's how we do it. We do it back in the day. Ooh. Yes. Some really cool stuff here. Can't wait to play with these. Here we got one. So we got the uh, Megalith clone, number eight of 20, number three, 820, number three, Megalith clone. Whoa! Oh, this is fun. Got some like cool textured Dragon Ball Z stickers. This is rad. Super cool. Oh, and they're like in there. These will go on one of the guitars for sure. Super cool. Are you ready? Oh yeah, this thing looks stellar. It's from my bud Michael Bailey. That is a, uh, let's hold up while I talk about it. This is a monolith clone made by Quinn of KSR from their custom shop. Whip this up, it's a, it's a fuzz, but it's an etching of Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. So I'm really excited to play on this. This is super cool. If anybody who's watching and they wanna do me a solid, maybe share this to one of the uh, the pedal groups or something. Here, let's jump on uh, Pedal Boards of Doom. Let's share this to Pedal Boards of Doom. Cool. Nice. All right. So we got another one in here. Oh, yep. This is tossed in there. So, yes, this will be really cool. This is a DAM uh, meathead with Ripley from Alien on it. So, one knob fuzz. Love fuzzes, obviously. That's all I do for my videos. So there's that guy, or girl rather. I'm loving that these stickers came with it, that's super rad. So what we have here 
so I didn't give away my personal information, is a package from Amazon. So this will be the Joyo gear. Really stoked to get these going. I actually have another package that's coming here in a bit. Hopefully it'll come today. I just couldn't wait anymore to do some unboxing because it's super fun. It's basically like Christmas come early, especially since so many of these were gifts. So, the Joya, you get like a pretty decent unboxing experience with the DC. Wow, this is actually a lot smaller and a lot heavier than I was expecting. What I like about this that I'm pretty excited is that this has reverse delay and I didn't know that until now. I mean, not now, but until I was looking at this pedal. Um, this is a Joyo, Joyo D seed. So super cool there, but it has a reverse mode for a pedal in this price point, having a reverse mode, that's super rad. So I'm stoked about that. And um, yeah, let's get the plastic off. This feels like, so if anyone hasn't owned a bunch of Joyo stuff, like I have had many of them, they're really substantial feeling for the money. Like you'd be surprised how substantial they really are. So yeah, external foot switch. I wonder if that's for tap. I'll have to look it up and see what this does. But yeah, the DC, what I like is that this has reverse delay, which I would not have expected for a delay and this price point. They were on sale for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. It was 20% off 60, whatever it was. Not very much money, really nice build quality, kind of a tank, but yeah, super stoked about that. I'll have to try it and see what kind of sounds I get out of it. I've had some nice delays, but for the money, I think that's really cool. Actually, I'm gonna keep all this stuff intact because this may go to another home after I do the demo. So we'll have to see. Yeah, how was everyone's Black Friday hauls? Anyone else get a bunch of crap like I did? So this is the uh, NASCAR delay. It's an analog delay from Joyo. Super stoked about this. It's from the R series. Well, it's a little more minimalist in its packaging. So you've got it's just kind of in a bag inside the box. The other one was like a lot more shrunk fit. Oops. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, the build quality on the R series I've loved since day one. And I love that they do that thing where it's so like, see that ring there that lights up with the color of LED. And this is the analog delay. My guess is that this is kind of based on this is kind of based on the, um, uh, what do they call it? Carbon copy. This is probably a copy of the carbon copy. But this was like 40 bucks on Joyo's website. Super stoked to play with this. I have a feeling friends will try and trade me out of these pretty quick. Good delays are awesome. But yeah, we're kind of moving right along through some of these. I'll go back and revisit the ones that I haven't already shown towards the end. So I actually got a glass slide. I did a little shopping while I was at the coast. I was over on Lincoln City, Oregon <clears throat> with the family for the holiday. And I got <clears throat> a slide from Fender. I haven't had a glass slide in a long time. So yeah, that'll be sweet for demos. Pretty stoked about that. It was like eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that. We got a bunch of junk toss. Actually, I'll put that with this. Sometimes it's good to read the manual. Okay, so then I have the Fab Metal, Dan Electro Fab Metal. So what I did is I picked up a couple of these from a local music shop. When I was in Lincoln City, I was dorking around, looking at what was out there, trying to support some local business. It's kind of the off season over there for them. I mean, some people come and stay for the holidays, but it's kind of like the coast, it's kind of a more miserable time. <laughs> And I've already had one of these, so I kind of know what to expect, but kind of our, you got your little manuals and then it's wrapped in a, like a weird, like cheap bag. Hey, how's it going, dude? I unboxed your stuff a minute ago. I'll, uh, I'll show you in a second. 
pretty stoked. But yeah, here's the Fab Metal. So pretty stoked about, I, I like this series. If you haven't tried them, the switch is a lot more substantial than you would think. Like the casing is a little on the cheap side, but the, the construction itself of the unit is good. So I like these. And what's cool about that is I actually got another one. And this one, I originally didn't really see used, but maybe I just wasn't looking hard enough. So I got the um, 600 millisecond delay. If you ever looked at these fab pedals, sometimes they sold in blister packs, like a cheap, like plastic blister pack. So I'm gonna unbox this guy. And I actually keep all my boxes. I keep all my stuff. So yeah, so we got like little manuals and stuff. They cheap out on these pretty, pretty, pretty bad in terms of like the unboxing experience. Like it's pretty bare bones. These originally sold for like 30 bucks you or new. And that's about what I paid for them. This one I haven't seen used as much. This is the um, the gold 600 millisecond delay. I don't think this is analog. I think that's like its max time is 600 milliseconds, which is actually pretty long, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing with this one. I like delays. I actually got three delays this round, which is unusual for me. I usually don't get this many delays. I usually only get fuzz, but it'll be nice giving everybody on the forums a break. The D seed is really surprising how quality the construction is. I'm really looking forward to demoing this guy. All right, and the last thing to kind of unbox, I am still waiting on another package that has a couple things in it, is the um, Angry Troll by Way Huge, a booster. I guess this particular art is a little harder to get a hold of. But what I like about Way Huge stuff is this box. If you haven't seen the box that Way Huge stuff was coming in, here's the Angry Troll, there you go. Um, it's like covered in like a comic and they give you a bunch of crap with it too. So you get like, you get like, two pins, like punk pins. You get like a pretty substantial like little catalog thing. That's kind of cool. And then they make the, uh, the manual just looks cool with these. So I'm pretty stoked. I think it's pretty simple. It's like animal and distortion. Interesting. So this should have quite a bit of, of gain to it. So I'm stoked to try that. Oh, delivers up to 50 dB of gain. I like that. It's a lot of gain. I've had some pretty aggressive boosters in my time, but this one might be cool. I might even get up into fuzz territory with the Marshall. So we'll see how that goes. So for now, even though that was a lot of stuff, if you didn't catch the beginning, that is all the new pedal unboxings that I'm going to do. But I'll go back through and show everything that I got for anybody who might have been missing. So we got the Monolith clone with Vegeta on it from Dragon Ball Z. Super cool fuzz. We've got the Dirty Haggard Audio 3904 with the Doom knob. It's like a gated one knob fuzz. He's selling these for like 50 bucks ship or plus ship or something. And then we got the Ripley from Alien. DAM Meathead Dark Clone, which is gonna be super rad. And then we got the three delays. I know I keep talking about this DC, but I think this is gonna be the one that gets the most views uh, because people are always looking for affordable delay. Whoa, these switches feel weird. They feel like they have a really short travel, interesting. But I'm, I'm ready to try this. I, I wanna, I'll have to read the manual and see if this does tap through the external jack. That would be my guess, that's what that does. But I'd like this, and I'd like to get the DC2 eventually. And then, yeah, we got the Fabtone 600 millisecond delay, the NASCAR delay from Joyo, um, and then 
Dan Electro Metal, which is kind of like a rat. So that'll be cool. And if you already saw it, Angry Troll. I also got a Univibe, but that's in the other room because I'm, uh, I was testing it to make sure it worked. I basically got it thrown in with the Angry Troll. I was talking to the owner and I was looking behind him and he had in a, on the counter there, he had a, a because they didn't have a lot of pedals in stock. It's like a tiny little store, like maybe like a 20 by 20 space total. And it was all jam packed full of crap. And so I was like looking around, trying to ask the guy like, hey, you got, I like fuzz. I generally like that stuff. And he was like, well, um, no, this is what I have, blah, blah, blah. And I saw this box just chilling there and I picked it up and shook it like this. I was like, hey, you have like the whole box for that. And then he made me a deal on that angry troll. That's going to end up going to my bud, Mike Hoover. But uh, anyway, so the, you know, there's this pedal like sitting behind him when I'm paying for my, my way huge pedal. And I couldn't tell what it was. It was like upside down, but it had a cool box. So I was like, hey, what's, what's that? He's like, oh, it's broken. <clears throat> so I talked to my, I was like, well, I got friends that could fix that stuff. So I'm going to, I'll pick that up from you. And so he's like, okay, whatever. And he just hands it to me. So I got, I read the manual because I was like, hmm, I wonder what could be wrong with this. And I had a feeling it probably needed a proprietary power adapter. And it didn't actually need a proprietary power adapter, but it did need 18 volt. So I have a way huge, or a, a Univibe, a real Jim Dunlop Univibe that I'm trying to sell. So hopefully someone will pick that up off of me and I can go back to that store and buy this guitar I was eyeing when I was there. But So this was my unboxing for now. I'm waiting on two more. They may not get here tonight. I'm hoping they do. Hopefully I can catch the, the mail late and they do a delivery tonight at like six. But if not, that's fine. We got plenty to demo. I have so many pedals now. And uh, I'm gonna do a recount on the full collection and how many fuzzes I have, because it's gone up a lot. But I really like that I have so many delays. Who wants to see a video with like every delay I have turned on at once or something? I have a feeling that could be super cool is to just like rock all the different delay pedals and stuff. Because I do a lot of fuzz content. I figure people want a break. And I, I just basically bought this metal uh, Dano pedal because it's cool. Maybe one of my buds will mod it down the road, but it was cheap and it helped the people. But I am looking forward to playing slide and applying cool stickers to my guitar. I really like that. I like these like stick on sticker things. It's super, super cool. So thanks to everyone that gifted and is participating in the live stream. And we have a lot of cool demos coming soon. So thanks for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed my little unboxing. I got to clean up all this mess and then go start filming a bunch of videos. So we will catch you guys soon. Thanks all.